Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Triton Lab ICP OES test. What's going on, YouTube? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Triton Lab ICP OES test. This will be test number three of four that I am going to be testing and reviewing on my Waterbox Refillex. So with this test, we are going to go through account creation, what's inside the box, prepping your samples, and getting them ready for shipment. Another cool thing about this test is this is another one of the tests out of the four that I'm evaluating that actually does their testing here in the United States. It also does include a USPS shipping label. Let's go ahead and take a look inside the box and see everything you get inside the kit. This is the Triton Lab ICP OES test kit. Here is a look at the back of the box and all of the parameters that it tests for. Inside the kit, we get instructions. We get a envelope to return everything back in. We also get labels for our samples and then we also get three vials to put our samples in as well. All right, let's go ahead and begin setting up our online account and getting our tests registered. So per the instruction card, we need to go to triton-lab.de. Right, at the top, it says log in or register, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to go ahead and create my account. Once your account is created, you will receive a confirmation email, so make sure you confirm your account. Right, I'm going to update profile data. We will need to create our aquarium. I'm going to just call it Waterbox Refillux. I'll say save. We'll select connect barcode. I'm going to say enter your barcode. Right, I entered my barcode. I'm going to click connect barcode. All right, so after we enter the barcode, it looks like we have successfully connected that to the aquarium that was created. And we'll go ahead and collect our results and get it ready to be shipped in. All right, we are ready to collect our samples. So when I was reviewing the instructions, my original research had told me that two of these vials were used to collect your water sample from your reef aquarium whereas the third one was used to collect your RO sample. Reviewing the instructions with my kit, this one actually uses all three for the water sample and doesn't test your RO water at all. So we're gonna go ahead and get these prepared. I just wanted to point that out. Uh, if you end up using this test, confirm on your instructions that all three are for your water sample from your reef tank. So we're gonna rinse this out three times like it recommends. Got one filt, two filt, and three have been filt. That is three of four tests complete. We've collected the samples for the Triton test, the ICP analysis, and also the Fauna Marin Total Reef ICP test. So that completes test three of four of the four ICP analysis tests that I have found online. I got one more test left to do, and that is on uh, ATIs. As with any of these ICP tests that you're do, uh, doing, Make sure to take a picture of the shipping information and keep it for your records because these things are notorious for getting lost. I got one more test to do. Once I get all of these results in, there will be a final video comparing and contrasting all of these tests together. So until the next one, guys, I'm out. Peace.